Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today we are focusing on learning how to use limit and skip in our queries. So most of the time you would want to limit your uh, the number of documents that are returned, right? Uh, especially when you are trying to implement a pagination kind of a thing in your application. Sk skip is something similar, like it tells how many records to skip and then start the count. Uh, we'll see that in detail with practical. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. This is part 17 of MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out, uh, check it out so that you can learn and master MongoDB. Also, if you have any doubts during the course of the study, please drop them in the comment section. I'll try and help you. So these are the topics or the index uh, tutorial that we have covered so far. It, the, all of these are in the description box below in the playlist link. Make sure you check it out. Today we are focusing on learning limit and skip. All right, so limit and skip. So we may not always want to get all the documents all the time, right? So if you remember SQL, you would do something like select star from and you get table and you get all the records, right? But we don't want those many, right? So we can set a limit and say how many records we want. In this case, if you see, I'm saying DB collection dot find right dot limit four that means i'm saying get me only four documents right so you may also want to skip the documents right you will say that no i don't want the first three skip the first three and then get remaining right so that way you can skip some of the things so remember the trick here is skip will always skip sequentially right so you cannot say that skip two in the front one in the back no that doesn't work you have to skip sequentially so when you say skip You'll, it will skip three, it will skip the top three that were returned. So remember the important difference between limit and skip because this is often asked if you are attending an interview. All right, so let, now that we know this, let's do some quick uh, hands-on example. So, all right, uh, let me pull up the editor. So you have the editor here and then I will open the PowerShell here. So I have it here. Now let me open mongo.exe. It will log into my mongo. Now, this is one of my collections which is inside the database testing so let me show you when i type so it says test i am in the test db right uh, i don't know where is this coming from but <laughs> let let me show show databases okay so it shows that i am going to use uh, use testing db right so it says switch to db testing so now it says testing db and then I'm going to go ahead and say db.collection.find. Now, what is the name of the collection? The collection name is leads here, right? So db.collection name, which is leads.find. So I'm saying find all documents for now. And then I'm saying limit. So I'm saying get me only two records. This has four documents, right? So I'm saying get me only two documents. So it gives me one. It gives me two, right? If I don't do that, it will give me all the documents, which is four. So you see here, one, two, three, four, right? So it gives me four record, four documents because I did not add any find. It will get me all the documents. So I'm saying limit one. So it will give me only one. So this way you will tell how many, how many records you want. This is absolutely critical to, to know that because when you do pagination in your middleware API layer, you will have to pass the number of documents you want, right? So this is extremely critical. So make sure you practice it well. Now the next thing, which is db.leads.find.skip. So here I'm saying, let me first show you the output of this, right? So here you see the lead name is Ram, Mark, Ben, and then Suresh. So that's the order. This is Ram, then you have Mark, then you have Ben, and then you have lastly Suresh, right? So that's the sequential order four. So now we will say dot skip the first one. So now I'm saying get me all the records, but skip the first record. So now you see it is giving me Mark, Ben and Suresh. It, it skipped the first record, which is Ram, right? Let's do that again and see now we'll, let's skip two. So our out, expected output is Ben and Suresh, right? So Ben and Suresh, right? So that's how uh, limit and skip works. So limit, you can limit the number of documents. 
skip, you tell how many documents to skip and then start picking up the document. Right. In the next episode, we will focus about learning on sorting documents. Yet another important concept, especially when you are looking at implementing your middleware in Express via MongoDB. Right. See you in the next episode. If you like my tutorial, please do subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. If you like, if you really like my work, you can also buy me a coffee at the below link. Thank you so much.